Hello, welcome to Zero2ProTraining.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this session, I will talk about web services. In this session, we will discuss some of these terminologies. Service-Oriented Architecture, SOA, Web Service, Simple Object Access Protocol, SOAP, Web Service Definition Language, WSDL, and Extensible Markup Language, XML. In one of the previous sessions, we have talked about service-oriented architecture and we said that web service is an implementation of service-oriented architecture. In service-oriented architecture, we have two software that communicate with each other. One is a consumer software and another one is a provider software. Consumer sends a request to the provider and provider sends a response back to the consumer. The main characteristic of web service architecture is that service provider software publishes its service description and this description is placed in a certain directory which is in place. So all providers will put their service description in that directory and the consumer software can make queries against this directory to find out what services are available and how to communicate with the provider. Now what is WSDL? It's simply a language that is used to create service descriptions. So before a service description could be placed in a directory, it has to be created in this special industry accepted language called WSDL. It's as simple as that. Now what is SOAP? Simple Object Access Protocol. It is again an industry standard protocol to talk to the directory. So service provider will communicate with the directory using SOAP protocol in order to send its service description to the directory and consumer will query against its directory using the same protocol as well. Okay, uh, so SOAP is simply a protocol that is used by a service provider and consumer software to talk to the directory. It's as simple as that and both WSDL and Simple Object Access Protocol are industry accepted languages. Now let's talk about XML. This service consumer software will now formulate its message that needs to be sent to the provider software based on the service description. So first consumer software will do the query against its database to find out which services are available and how to communicate with this provider. So based on the description written in WSDL language, an XML message will be formed. So this message that this consumer will be sending to the provider will be written in XML language, extensible markup language, which is again an industry standard that is used between two software to communicate with each other. Okay, so it's a tag based language if you want to see what tag based language looks like, go to your browser, open up any web page and uh, go to view web page source or view source option or whatever that option is called in your browser and you can see the, the tag based language because HTML is also a tag based language. XML looks very similar. Okay, so now we understand where XML fits into the picture. So consumer software will form will formulate its message in XML language. This message will go to the service provider and also we have talked about that this message will be based on the definition that is residing in this directory. Now the service provider will generate its response back uh, to the consumer software and this response will be written in XML language as well. Again this response will be according to the specifications that are stored in this service description.